Hey guys, today I wanted to go through a video uh, which is going to let you know exactly what my summer skincare routine is. Now, I've got a huge amount of products to get through, so I'm going to spend a little bit of time explaining each one. But if you do want a further review on any of the items that you see, please feel free to leave a comment below and I can go into some further detail a bit later. The first item I wanted to talk about is a staple in my summer skincare regime. And it also does feature in my winter regime, if I'm completely honest. Living in Australia and especially Queensland, uh, I do need to wear sunscreen every single day. I actually have a bottle of Nivea Sun Moisturising Sunscreen Lotion, which is something I apply every single day. Um, this I apply to my arms, also to my legs, to my décolletage and the back of my neck, also my ears and my hands. Um, this is a really good formula. I find it's not greasy. It doesn't leave my skin looking white and streaky throughout the day. It soaks in really easily and it actually makes my skin feel nourished and moisturised. So this is an absolute winner for me. Um, I do also have a smaller bottle of the sunscreen in my car and also in my desk at work. So I can reapply it when necessary. The next item is something I've been using for a little while. It's the Peter Thomas Roth Gentle Foaming Cleanser. Now for me, when it comes into the warmer months, my skin much prefers a foaming cleanser as opposed to a cream based one. Um, so I made this choice to try Peter Thomas Roth upon a lady at Kit Cosmetics recommendation. I haven't looked back, I really love this stuff. So this stuff is very gentle, it has no scent, it has no nasty chemicals. It actually says it's soap free, sulfate free, alcohol free and fragrance free. And it's for all skin types. So my oily combination skin is really loving this at the moment. Leaves it feeling very clean without stripping it dry. So the next item is something I've spoken about before. I know I feel that one of my best assets and something that I really like to show off, especially in the summertime, is my smile. Now, I know it sounds a bit cheesy, but it's true. If my smile is looking good, I feel better about myself. I feel brighter and more happy and more willing to smile. So something I use every day, twice a day, is my Oral-B toothbrush. Now this is an electric toothbrush. We actually have exchangeable heads. So my boyfriend and I can use different heads when we use it. I've got a cute little pink band on the bottom of my head so I know which one am I. Um, and he's got little yellow bands on the bottom of his. So that works really nicely to keep my smile looking great and it also helps a lot with breath problems. Um, and it just makes my mouth feel really clean and lovely. The next item is deodorant. Now, of course, I wear this throughout the year, but in summer, it can be a bit more of an issue. I usually need something that's a little more hardcore that's going to deal with a lot of sweating. Obviously, being based in Brisbane, I cop a lot of humidity and a lot of heat. And if I'm not wearing something clinical under my arms, I will start to get damp clothes. And that is not pleasant for anybody involved. So recently, I've been using the Lady Speed Stick Clinical Proof. It is in the shower fresh scent. Um, this I find has been great on my sensitive skin. There's been no irritation. Uh, basically, you wind up the product from the bottom and just apply that to your underarms. I've been using this straight after shaving and again, no irritation whatsoever. Now, the clinical sense of this means that it's going to really work hard to reduce wetness and also provide protection against any body odours. I found this has been working wonderfully for me as the warm weather starts to warm up. The next item is something that's a little bit gross, but I'm gonna mention it anyway, because it honestly is a staple for my summer days. It's the Ped Egg. I'm sure you guys have seen this on television, on the infomercials, even in department stores, they're available now. They're really, really cheap and all it is, is it's kind of like a cheese grater. You can see it's made of metal and these cheese grater parts you simply apply to the bottom of your feet where you have dry skin and calluses 
and this will actually work away at it and sand away the dead skin. My feet get horrible in summer. I really need to do this probably once a week, maybe once a fortnight if I'm lucky. Um, because I wear sandals and thongs a lot or even bare feet, it tends to really have an impact on my feet. So this works really well to keep them under control and looking nice. You can also use this little sanding pad on the bottom of the ped egg, which just goes around to uh, smooth out any rough edges that might have been created by that cheese grater bit. Now, I'm sorry if that grosses you out, but as I said, I, amongst a lot of other people, have problems with my feet in the summer. So it's best that I use this. The next item is a good translucent powder. This is a must for me all throughout the year because of my oily to combination skin but it is even more important for me when we come into summer. Um, I'm not only dealing with oil buildup and sebum, but I'm also dealing with sweat that is caused by the warmer weather. So what I've been using recently is the Laura Mercier um, Pressed Setting Powder. Now this is just a translucent powder. It has no color to it whatsoever, which is fantastic. It means it will work on all skin tones, no matter what sort of makeup you're wearing. It comes in a compact like this with a mirror. You also receive a sponge for the application of the product, although I prefer to use a large fluffy brush. And the product is just some lovely translucent pressed powder. Now I tend to apply this in the mornings after I have applied my makeup and I will then reapply throughout the day as required. Now I find this is a fantastic product. It keeps my face looking matte it saves me from having any oily T-zone and also it prevents my face from sweating throughout the day. So this is one of my staples for summer as well. Another product I can't live without in the summer is a good body moisturiser. I'm sure you realise that while you're out in the sun soaking up the UVA and UVB rays, your skin is reacting to that. Throw into the mix chlorine from swimming pools and also air conditioners as well, whether you're in your car or you're in buildings, at your workplace, at your school, it's going to wreak havoc with your skin a little bit. So I like to give something back to my skin at the end of each day. After I have a shower, I try to use my Nivea Soft Moisturising Cream. As the name suggests, it is incredibly soft. It's really cheap. I purchased this just from the local chemist. This is what the product looks like. To me, it feels like oh, some beautiful whipped... Um, cake batter maybe. It's, it's probably a bit smoother than cake batter. It really feels so silky smooth and it really soaks into the skin intensely, just instantly. So the reason I actually bought this was more for the container than anything else. I hope you can see but it's covered in this gorgeous design and so it looks really pretty just sitting on my vanity waiting for me to use it. I've got another foot item to show you and tell you about. This one isn't as gross as the ped egg. This is called Running to the Embassy and it's a body butter from Lush. Now mine has been used, so it doesn't look like the ones you get brand new. It's a beautiful fresh spearmint bar that will exfoliate your feet. So if you use this in the shower, just wet your feet and apply this, uh, I guess in a circular motion, and it will really buff away any dead skin and reinvigorate your feet. I love this stuff. It really wakes me up and it makes my feet feel beautiful and pampered in the summer months. The next item is my day moisturiser. In summer, I like to wear something that's a bit lighter than I would in winter because my skin isn't so dry and it isn't needing so much moisture. So I've recently tried wearing the Estee Lauder Day Wear Advanced Multi-Protection Antioxidant Cream, which is also SPF 15. So this is the one I wear every morning I'll put that on under my makeup. This is excellent for normal to combination skin. And I found it is beautiful on my skin. It's nice and light. It uh, obviously isn't too heavy and it doesn't make me oil up during the day. So, so far, I'm really enjoying this one. The next item is my night cream. Now, for the summer months, again, I like to go with something a little lighter than what I have been using in the winter. And this summer I've gone back to the Body Shop Seaweed Clarifying Night Treatment. I did a video on the Body Shop Seaweed range, so you can go back into my videos and take a look at that one if you'd like some further information. 
Um, this one's just in an easy pump pack, so you pump the product out onto your finger and apply it to your face. This works beautifully to mattify the face um, and it really takes advantage of those sleeping hours to reinvigorate and really make your skin look beautiful once morning comes. Loving this one. Another item I've been using every day, whether it be winter or summer, is my Clarisonic Mia. I've got the pink one. I believe there is a new version coming out or it might have already come out. Um, this is simply a rechargeable electric exfoliation device. Uh, this one has the removable heads. This one is for oily and combination skin. And I use that every day for one minute just to buff in my cleanser and to really exfoliate my face. Now I find this is beautiful for, again, avoiding any oily buildup throughout the day. If I don't use it for a day, I find that my skin almost chucks a hissy fit. It really doesn't like it. So it's become used to using this and I'm sure this is helping to keep my skin blemish free and looking beautiful. I also have another video I did previously on the Clarisonic Mia, which I will link below. The next item I'd like to cover is an eye cream. Recently, I've started using the Anoxa Super Sensitive Restorative Eye Gel. That's the product there. So you can see it's in a handy tube. Now, this is excellent for sensitive eyes. The end of the tube is perfect just for squeezing out a small amount of product onto your finger. I dot that around the bottom of my eyes and I find that it really helps with puffiness. My eyes are very sensitive and I do have to be very careful about what products I put near them. Um, this having the tube system is much more hygienic for me and I find that my eyes are not irritated by it at all. The next item is actually an oil that I've been trialling for the last couple of weeks. It's called Busby Natural Oils Pure Tissue Oil. Now this was given to me as an alternative to bio oil. Um, some of you guys might have used it to lessen stretch marks and to reduce the look of scars. Now this I've been using on my knees because I have terribly scarred knees from when I was a little girl. I was incredibly clumsy and I used to fall over a lot. And unfortunately I've still got the scars. So I've been applying this every day it's in a pump pack, which makes it really easy to use. I simply massage it into my hands and then work it into my knees. I found it's been working just as well as the bio oil. And this one has no nasty chemicals in it. Uh, I recently found out that there are some not so good chemicals in bio oil, which is why I've started to try this one. And I have to say, it is a great alternative. The next item moving right along is my Venus Breeze um, razor cartridge. I have been using these with my Venus razor in the shower to shave under my arms and also shave my legs. Now what makes the Venus Breeze so special is the fact that it has a moisturising block that is on both sides of the razor blade. It's a beautiful purple colour and you can see that block of moisturising stuff that actually hits the skin before the blades do. So I love this for a really excellent time-saving invention uh, in my shower because I find it makes a task that can sometimes take about five minutes to do, takes it down to only one minute. I don't have to apply any gels or any foams under my arms or on my legs. I just go straight in with the razor. I find this leaves my skin feeling so soft. It's amazing. They don't last as long as your regular razor blades because the actual moisturising parts can run out a bit quicker than the actual blades dull. So I find they're probably a little bit more expensive in the long run, but I absolutely love them for saving time in the summer and leaving my skin super, super soft. So the next item I wanted to discuss is actually a makeup item. And I know you guys are probably thinking, what a makeup item in a skincare video, but this honestly isn't just a makeup item. It is a foundation by Illa Musca, and it is the first product I've ever used from that range. Um, the product is called Skin Base Foundation, and the way it was described to me is it is more of a BB cream than an actual foundation. Now, BB creams are blemish uh, balms. 
Now they originated over in Asia. A lot of people use them as a makeup, a sort of a light makeup, I guess, not really a heavy kind of coverage makeup. Um, but it also, instead of making your skin clogged and looking a bit rubbish after you use it, this actually helps your skin to stay healthy and look youthful while you're wearing it. It's pretty revolutionary and I absolutely love this product for making my skin look natural. I'm wearing it today. It is my everyday foundation. It's a little bit expensive, um, probably on the upper side of what I would like to spend on my foundation for the amount that you receive. This is a 30 mil package, but I'm absolutely loving the effect that it gives me. It still allows my natural skin to shine through underneath the makeup and it really looks nice and natural. So for summer, I strongly recommend a BB cream that works for you. This is shade number eight, which is a perfect match for me. Um, I would definitely recommend going into an Illamasqua counter and having your colors done, just so you can match yourself up with one of the skin base foundations. Staying on the topic of makeup, the next item I wanted to show you is by Hissy Fit. Now, this is a product I've been using for a number of years. It's come with me through many summers. Obviously, this is a newer tube of the product, um, but it's the Hissy Fit Saving Face, and it's the moisturizing tinted sunscreen. This one has SPF 30 plus, so I love to wear this when I'm gonna be out in the sun most of the day. If I'm gonna be at the beach, I will throw this into my beach canvas bag. Um, along with you know my regular sunscreen for my body, my water, etc, etc. And this is excellent for just popping on the face throughout the day. It is water resistant and it gives you a really nice subtle colour. It comes in three shades. This is fresh and I find that it works really well with my skin tone. The only thing you need to watch is you do need to rub it in. If you put a large amount on one part of your face, like most tinted moisturizers, it's gonna look a little bit muddy. And I definitely recommend being very sparing with your bronzer and your blush if you're gonna wear this product. I tend to wear it by itself with a slick of clear lip gloss and just some waterproof mascara for a really fresh look. Um, and it, it just means I can go in the water, I can go in the sand, I can do whatever I want without being restricted and without feeling that my makeup is going to get ruined. So definitely recommend saving face for the summertime. The next product is, again, something to do with makeup, but this is actually a primer that I've been using. It's the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer, and this one is oil-free. Because I have oily to combination skin, this is a perfect match for me. I find that this is a great match for my skin because it's oil-free and it really ensures that I have a nice smooth base to apply my foundation to. It also prevents any oil buildup throughout the day and it also helps with that sweating issue. I can get quite sweaty all over, not just my face, and this really helps to save the life of my makeup throughout the day. So this product isn't too expensive. You do get a fair bit, you get 50 mil in a tube, Again, I love the tubes because it's really hygienic to use. You can see you just squeeze the product out. And this has lasted me quite a while. I'll definitely be repurchasing this product. The second last product I have to show you is something that I've discussed before. It is actually my Estee Lauder Signature Silky Powder Blush Set. Um, I use this every single day. I received it as a gift with purchase with some Estee Lauder products a little while ago, let's say mm, close to a year ago, I would say. Um, this product opens up, it's a compact. So it has a mirror and it also has nude rose blush. It has soft matte bronzer and shimmer powder. I use all three products almost every single day, but the product I really wanted to highlight for summer was the bronzer. I think it's really important to have a natural looking bronzer, something that isn't too powdery, isn't too talky, and something that is gonna match your skin tone. Now this particular bronzer, the Bronze Goddess Soft Matte Bronzer is fantastic. Because I have oily skin, uh, I don't wanna add any more sparkle than is necessary. I will add a little bit of the shimmer highlight powder to the tops of my cheekbones, but that's it. I don't want to add shimmer to the hollows of my cheeks 
because that will just end up looking like I'm oily all over and I have these weird shimmers. It's going to look even more oily. So I definitely recommend this product or any other good quality bronzer that is going to match your skin tone really nicely. Now the final product I wanted to mention isn't really a product, it's something that we can all get for free, but it is simple H2O, it's water. In summer, you do need to drink a lot more than you do in winter. The body is naturally less hydrated, so it's really important to keep up your fluids. Unfortunately, you can't count tea, soft drinks or fruit juice in your hydration routine. You really do need to drink plain old water. If you have to, you can add perhaps a squeeze of lemon juice or lime juice just to liven it up a little bit. But if you can, just stick to the regular old H2O, just the regular water, um, and I promise it will help your skin, it will help your hair, it will help your nails. Absolutely every part of your whole being will be nourished by good old water. So I hope you've enjoyed watching the video today, guys. As I said at the beginning, if you do have any questions or you wanted a more in-depth review on any of these items, please feel free to leave a comment below. And as always, thank you so much for watching and subscribing. Bye.